Hi friends, I'm Nancy Jacobs with Embroidery It, and you're in my sewing room right now. And if you're like me, your garden has a surplus of yummy goodness that you've been picking lately. I know I've got a surplus of cucumbers, and I have been canning lots and lots of pickles. It's just, it's the time of what am I going to do with a whole refrigerator full of pickles. And so I designed some cute little lids to go on mason jars on both the wide mouth and on the narrow mouth. So you can see here's another see what the M&Ms or jelly beans in this one. And then it's got cute, cute little tags to go with it as well. And I rubber stamped uh, treats on that tag. But let me show you here the heart and the lines here are embroidery, and it can be done. This is on paper, on cardstock, and embroidery on cardstock and paper is just a lot of fun, and it's so simple and easy. I want to show you and take you through step by step so you can see just how easy it is. But not only that, you can still, even though I designed these to go on paper, you can still stitch them on fabric, which is what I did here. So anyway, take a look. We're going to just go step by step through the process. I have my 4x4 four four hoop, and I have hooped a lightweight tear, uh, tearaway stabilizer. It's just an inexpensive stabilizer. And we'll go ahead and put the hoop in the machine here. I'm going to adjust the camera so you can watch the machine. And what I have done is I took a piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. I cut it just in fourths. So through the center both ways to make four pieces. And that just fits as nice as can be right there in my 4x4 four four hoop. And I hit the start button. Away it goes. I didn't take that down. Um, you know, it just really stays nicely. You might have to hold your fingers on it for just a couple of stitches, but really it holds in place just fine. Okay, so it's done the two lines for you to write down what is in your mason jar. And then it's done a single run as a placement line for the little heart. And then I've cut just a little square of felt. And I put it right in place over, over my placement line. And again, you know, I don't need to really tape this down. I'm going to hold it with my fingers for just a couple of stitches. And then I can let it go. My fingers out of the way. It's that simple. The stitching is done. So take a look here. Now we're going to remove it from the hoop. Then all we need to do is take, here we've got our jar, just take the lid and then you've got the, the top lid with the seal. Just set it over, place it over your design, and you know you can eyeball this really pretty easily. Just put it right there and then take a pencil, lightly go around it. So you've got your line, and then you can take some paper crafting scissors which have a decorative edge, or you can just take your regular scissors and cut right around on the line. I have also done these with felt, um, just some inexpensive muslin works well, anything like that will do the trick. Now, 
To cut the felt, I like these sharp little snips. They're, they're uh, a spring scissors, and I use these a lot. And boy, they're sharp. They get right next to the fabric, and I use these a lot for applique uh, rather than a typical applique scissors, just because for most applique, you're trying to cut it while it's still in the hoop, and a typical applique scissors, such as this, you know, it's just the blade is so big, sometimes you have trouble getting it around the fabric while it's in your hoop. But boy, I just like these little snips. They're just as sharp as it can be. And we're gonna cut our, our jump stitches. And voila, we're done here. So we're gonna pretend we have filled this with, this is a nice little jelly jar, which is the same size as your narrow mouth. We're gonna pretend we filled this with some good jelly, put the lid on, seal it, uh, process it in the canning bath. Then you will place your decorative lid on and it screws right, right down in place. You can write on there what you want, add a pretty ribbon, add your tag. And I've got some more examples of tags here. I'm losing them. I'm getting too much on my... And those, I've just used rubber stamps. I loved I still love to do paper crafting, but I used to do a lot of scrapbooking, and so I've got a lot of paper crafting techniques, and so to mix them up and add them with machine embroidery sure is a lot of fun. So anyway, enjoy this. This is the canning jar lid. It's available on my Etsy site, www.nancyjacobs.etsy.com. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy uh, doing machine embroidery on paper. Bye-bye now.